Hey guys, Linda Bamba here from Linda Bamba. Were you looking for how to meet, connect, and network on Facebook? I'm cutting this video. I'm going to show you uh, some ways you can meet and connect and network with other people. I am on my profile, and you will need to do this from your profile and not your fan page. But one of the things you want to make sure you're doing, if you come over here and click on this little icon and come down here to settings and come over here to followers. You want to make sure there's two settings here for the, who can follow me. You want to leave it on everybody. You want to leave yourself exposed to let other people follow you and connect with you. It's a way to start conversations. If I come back over here to my profile, if I go down my news feed, I'll go down and I'll look for um, conversations here where there's a post that there's a lot of engagement um, and people commenting and liking on it. And what I'll do is, now this one I know Patricia, um, if I click this I'll like it. If you click on the 19 others what you see is everybody that liked it comes up. I'm friends with most of these people. What you're looking for is people you have mutual friends with. If you just hover over the person's name, now she doesn't have her follow button up so I'll, I'll just skip it. Neither does he, neither does she. You're looking for people to follow when you're doing this. And if you're new to this and you don't have any mutual friends, now I'm already following her, I would tell you, you know, follow her. And what happens is they get a message. And then, now if you do 30 people a day or so, I've been doing this consistently for every year, they'll get a message. Not all of them, but some of them, or maybe you do it in 30 and nobody will look at it, but they'll come over and they'll check you out and they'll come down your profile. Another thing is, when you write comments on this, um, if I just put um, cool picture, especially if it's a thread with a lot of comments, you, you're exposing yourself and um, getting to know people and let them see you. And the more engaging um, comments that you make, um, the more chances there you are that someone's going to notice. But if you start doing this every day, I mean, this is a day, you do have to be consistent with this. <coughs> Excuse me. You'll start no noticing, you know, building your audience and having people come towards you. And you just go through your news feed. Um, looking for people um, and posts that there's a lot of engagement on. The other thing I do is I come over here and if you don't know Eric Worre, he owns Network Marketing Pro. And, and go to, you know, people that are in your niche. But he's like, if you, he's got over 905,000 people uh, liking his page. You can see here, this one post has 2,537 likes. You can see 814 shares. You can do the same thing here. <coughs> Excuse me. Click on that and go through um, the list here. Go through the comments. See if there's something um, or that someone said that resonates with you that you can like and comment. And on these particular, because this, there's a lot of um, comments here. You can tag people. If you're friends with someone, you can tag them. If you're following them, if you put the little at sign in front of it, you could tag them. If you're not friends with somebody and you're not following them, you can't tag them. When you tag somebody, what it does is they get a message. So they'll come over and, you know, look and see, oh, you know, who's tagging me now? Samantha, I know. So I'm going to like. Now, I mean, usually you want to look do this with people you don't know, but to show you this, um, I'm going to comment on this and say, you are right. Now, I'm friends with her, so, see her name comes up, and it, and you can see here when you tag someone, it goes, turns blue, and then if you click on it, the profile comes up. But you can do this in your niche, you know, find out, you know, try to find five or 10, you know, top earners in your field, in your niche that you can do this to and go over to their pages and try to get involved with some of the conversations. You know, ones like this where, I mean, he just gets a ton of engagement on his page um, are great places to come and, you know, go through and, and you can see here, this person, what it looks like they're doing, it, this might be people that are on their team, they're tagging all of them to come over, but that's, when you do tag people, uh, that's what you can 
you can do that. I mean, I wouldn't recommend tagging all these people. Another thing is the Facebook groups. There's thousands and thousands of Facebook groups now. These are some of the ones I belong to. Now, some of these are just strictly private ones. Um, it's either, I mean, I have private ones too, um, that they're either with a program or it's a specific topic. Um, what I like to do is now, um, I'll do another video and another training. I think the next time, the next webinar we do in, in a week or two, um, I'll talk about posting in the Facebook groups. There's tons of people in here. Now I just posted this like 14 minutes ago. Posting in here, um, if you can come, th I mean, a lot of these you're not going to be able to find any conversations just because it's just, you know, it's just people posting their business links. Um, <clears throat> and I'll get into a good way to use these kind of groups. But the better groups to um, post on now, this is a, um, a the community group for my lead system pro now this is a great and just because somebody's in the same program with you i mean it, and this is networking but if i come in here and i check this group every day now i know justin he's getting some great results i'm just going to you can see people are liking and commenting on that um i'm just going to say great results justin <clears throat> keep doing what you are doing and this is I mean these are the kind of groups you want to go you know the groups that you belong to because you're meeting other people and you know go in and see what cover <coughs> excuse me see what conversations are going on that you can um, comment and like um, this and this is really what networking is about because your network is not your prospects it's not your leads um, so I mean networking is um, Another way of really expanding your audience and your circle of influence, um, and if you're thinking long term and you should be, uh, you want to network with you know if you're your MLM or anything that you're in, you want to network with those people. You want to get to know all of them. Anytime, and I'm in a bunch of groups that are private groups. Now this one that I'm in right now, this is finishing up, and what I'm doing right now is I know there's 185 people on this. This is a course that we were doing for the month of January and tomorrow's January 31st so this we are really wrapping up here I'll go through here and I make a point to um, connect with just about anybody in here that I don't know so let me just um, see who here haven't I talked to now they may not answer me that's fine but when you're in a group like this and you can just do a few people a day um, because you don't want to be messaging tons of people because Facebook will, um, if you're messaging too many people at once, Facebook's going to pick it up and have an issue. Let's see. And I've just been doing, you know, coming in here and doing a few people a day. This is all networking. You're expanding um your circle of influence. Okay, we're not. So I'm going to come over here. I'm going to send her a friend request. And I'm just going to say, you know, um, in the group, I'm in Diane Hockman's group with you. And I'll just say, I just wanted to connect. Now, she may or may not answer me. But this is really what networking is about. So I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you're looking for more free training, uh, subscribe to my newsletter. Go ahead, click the link below, and I'll see you on the next video.